actually, we're kind of at a really good point in this game because there's going to be a lot that opens up, so we're kind of arrived where we want to be. I got Connie with me. We're going to complete the game that didn't happen to her. First, actually. <laughs> They're going in six years? Six? Cheap son of a bitch, dude. Alright, let's go. Alright, so we are gonna go to the Skylark Bar room. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a piece of a spike, but there's gonna be a lot of fight when popping up here and there, just kind of like along the way. Definitely gonna have to hit some of those up, because I know in Skylark you can, you can get some hard like these from Bill's side quest, which is actually a uh, Skylock Farms. Wow, it's actually the largest. I mean, I guess I can see that there's a lot of cornfield. A lot of cornfields, so I can definitely see a lot of Oh, too fast. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I was gonna suck on something. Alright. So. Let me find the river here. There's a little. There's a river that's kind of cluttered with a lot of junk in it. We're gonna go ahead and guy clean it out. I almost thought that was the most scarecrow. That was a fucking idiot. Uh, all time down too, so I can do the damn forehead combo. Oh shit, where the fuck you come from? Oh damn. Oh, get blocked though. I think you got blocked. Oh, I have the power. I have the power. Big combo. Big combo. Alright. This is the lake right here. Any, any like cluttered part of it. Might be a little further in here. Oh. That's, this doesn't look too particularly cluttered. So, might be down a little bit more on this side. Now, this dude could be a sleep in like, the middle of the fucking time. Oh god. I'm in all types of all types of first person mode. Ooh, the boomerang arm! Oh, wow, okay. That's actually really cool. So we just found a boomerang arm for free. Uh, this is actually a unique piece. So, uh, yeah, right in this cavern right here. Just kind of heading up the, uh... Right there is a unique piece of boomerang arm. 
totally remember that was in there. I just need a full repair, dude. <laughs> and we're back in Happy Garland. Welcome!
There's actually little side little side quests I need to do. The lazy millionaire. How have I been lazy? People don't know what they want me. Oh well, I have more money than they'll ever see. Ha 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 ha. Oh dude, can I play a concert? Oh, I think this is this where you can play as many concerts as you want this year. Concerts of the Globetrotters. Alright. So our mission right now is to go to... Really, we need to get back to New Haven. But I believe... Travel, <laughs> the fast travel system of the game here. We just gotta the city, so we just gotta take the train. <clears throat> but uh, we're gonna have to take a detour real quick because there's actually a lot of problems with the top of the middle that makes things just a lot faster. It's not kind of shame for that. I went to New Haven, didn't I? Oh, <laughs> I need Nefroburg. If I would like to go to Nefroburg, please. Oh, they don't have... Oh, they don't have... Oh, they don't have Nefroburg Station. Oh, okay, I know what's up. Okay, I know what's going on. I was saying, this place is too nautical. Yeah, this is definitely where we just came from. My <laughs> <Not> bad. <laughs> so we need to go to uh, Nefroburg. But they have that closed down. They don't have that, that train connected. So we'll have to go there the long way. There must be something in story that I haven't gotten past yet. Getting a little, little ahead of myself. Alright, since we love the train so much, and fast traveling, we decided to show it off, and here we are. Let's go to Nefferberg now, which means we'll just have to head through the desert. That's alright though. Oh. 
full share of fighting. There a little bit. Alright, so we're gonna go towards the Sabia Desert. That's where we need to go. These guys are still actually here. I mean, they still have all like the buggies and all that that we carry back. All the materials. <clears throat> taking a long break over there. Now we could go visit our girl Nora, but she ain't talking about too much right now. I'll have to get some gems for her here in Fort Raven.
Okay, that's the Desert Hornet Stronghold. Okay, I need to go this way. Okay, I need to go through. I need to go through. I think he's actually a sage. Like, there's a couple of models like this, and I think they're like the great sages. Like the, I forgot, the rainbow sages. That's going to be an easy find here. It's just going to be right in kind of the center area. There's a guy, I believe he's right next to the entrance. I'll have to look when I load in here.
much rated the bicycle. This man is starting the green initiative. But you can still run people over with a bicycle, so like... Pretty much the fastest on foot travel map. I mean, you can just ride your bike around the city, anywhere, and everything. Again, we can do this. To get off of it, I need to just sit next to you. And yeah, I'll just park it pretty much over. I think it just pretty, it pretty much will go with your trot mobile. I think I've actually lost mine before, but I found it sooner or later, so it's easy to get back. I've got to go all those parts. Alright. So, another place you can kind of go in Fort Raven. Give me a quick save here, real quick. But, uh, this is where a lot of the dungeoning really kind of is in this game. If you want to get your fill of dungeon stuff and fighting, and in the dungeons, there's actually a lot of, uh,. There's a lot of treasures that you can get kind of scattered throughout. And this, uh, this is really good if you want to get a lot, a lot of gifts in here because you'll find gemstones. Let's kind of get this spin because we're going on the first level. There's about uh, three levels in total, three or four. I'm pretty sure it's three. There's a lot of grave, kind of grave robbers and bandits. Until I arrive. Oh, there's a little kiosk right here. You want to get some fuel? HP. Let's kind of get some fuel real quick. I would say we could kind of just mess around with the boomerang arm, but it's it's not worth it. It's more than not really that worth it. It's a good piece, but it's like balling a lot better. A lot of spells. Uh, these little green chests are scattered throughout the chest. Oh, wow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's a lot of different unique enemies that I've not seen this game yet. Some of them are very annoying to deal with. But they're not completely impossible. Other than anything in this game. Finding the illustrious gyms that I thought we did. It's probably yeah, 
a lot of people in too, but you'll find a couple things like, oh, there you go. See if I say that at that time. You'll find a lot of cool little neat jigs and stuff like that. So, I'm going to get a little bit of this today. If you want to uh, romance me, the one that's in here. Savory on other places. I also got one from Nora, so if you want to get Nora, she definitely likes a lot of the dishes here. Each one kind of has a throw in that you like. You can also get a lot of printers here in here, so it's definitely worth checking out. Just exit out and just go right back in. It'll give us the option for uh, floor two. And I'll throw on my, the boomerang arm for this one just to kind of show it out. Show you what the kind of kit is. Let's go ahead and put this on real quick, too. Big dog makes it easier to fight. Them.
trying to get the stag to do it too. Well, I kind of hit one kind of staggers in for a second. I'm just pressing up the screw and it bites down. It's a small enemy. Last level here. Last level is going to be the biggest one. They have the most treasures, and I think it has the highest percentages to actually get good treasure. So you can just keep farming the third one over and over again, and usually get some pretty good stuff that's not spoiled meat all the time. Hello. Who I pissed off for that one?
up off them.
Alright, that looks awesome. Cool. Missing that damn chest. All those good stuff that you're gonna talk about was a little better way to wrap up that thing. Foil tree. That's where you get all those good items and gems and spoiled meats. Can't forget the spoiled meats. I think you can sell them. Is that all there were? I'm at a loss for that one. Anyway. All right, continuing on to the bird. So we don't have to stop anymore. I'm just gonna put on this spray right now. Just like water is just one. Probably, so we talked to a man named Pablo, he was an artist, I bought a painting from him back in one of the other videos, the earlier ones. He will be right here, waiting on an escort. That's kind of why I have that carriage frame on, because he's looking for an escort to Fort Raven, even though he could just easily walk there. Oh, and Vladimir. Vladimir will also be here, and he's the real estate guy. Okay, he wants us to get the man in black to leave. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to get him to leave. Yeah. And once he leaves, we can just take Vlad back, and then that opens the real estate in Neffelberg. You'll be able to uh, buy real estate yeah. there. Again, like I said at the beginning, there's a lot of little side quests that kind of open up now that we've been to New Haven. 
there's kind of a, a little window that we're in here. We're not giving too much away. Plot wise. Help me! Okay, so we're going to Pickle Beach to pick up. The sailing license, pretty much. That's that sort of mission. We're going back to Seagull Beach right here. We got this body part and the floater from uh, Captain Sibylette. And she wants us to get the sailing license from the remains of the old SS Juniper Berry that they came in on. And now we can go to the Seagull Beach exit here for the net rover. See. That, that, that's what I was just saying earlier, that Vladimir Real Estate, that's the Vladimir guy. Great. Once we get that guy in black out, he'll come back and he'll open up the real estate business back up. Actually, we can do that. I believe that But now I'm serious. I really want her pool stick, man. I think that the special on that thing is ridiculous. Oh, I always play one set too. You get lucky and beat them in the first set, that's all you need. Play any. Three sets can be fun though. I'm not as serious on it. Just a little bounce. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Get ready. Yeah, get ready. Oh, scratch. Let's see. Oh, I'm about to get my ass kicked. I can already tell. Easy. Sylvia likes to be on some booty. Oh, she's gonna use her thing that early? She's gonna use her special that early? She's that confident? Are you that confident that you're gonna hit the rest of the kid? I gotta see this. I gotta see this. There you go. You're gonna mess up. Yeah. That's such an easy shot. That's such an easy shot. Oh, trash. Oh, please. Yes. Put me in prime position. Get ready. Gonna hit a five. Hmm. Oh, she didn't hit the thing at all, did she? Oh, I get know. ready. Oh, that makes it weird. All right, let me give this one a little love tap to. Ooh. Oh, oh, yay, bitch! I win. <laughs> oh. Yes, it worked! It actually worked! I didn't think it would work, but it actually worked! 
Look at that shot! Sylvia, do you know who you're messing with over here? The Nine Ball Master! I won! I worked that thing! Now give me your <sighs> stupid fuel. Actually, I shouldn't say stupid, it's stupid OP. Give me that stupid OP pool cue of yours. Oh, and now I'm semi-pro. Oh, yes. Call Will Smith. I am semi-pro. Call me Jackie Moon. Time to save before anything happens, because that's never going to happen again. I'm not going to lie. It's never going to happen again. That's the, that the quickest I've ever beaten her, that's for sure. Usually she's on her bullshit. Looks great. I think the next one is like, I think it's Captain Sybil the next one. She might be the next one. There might be someone after her, or before her, but I'm pretty sure it's her. So there's a little backstory here. There's a a series, pretty much, of classic books that are also related to another side quest in this game. And uh, there's like I want to say twelve classic books. There's a lot of them. There's, there's absolutely a lot of them. There's like anywhere between ten to twelve. It might be about ten classics. I think the ten classics. You pick them up, and there's a child that you can give them to. He's pretty much a freaking genius. That uh, place will be later. In one of those classic books, you can actually get really, really, really awesome. I already got one of them at the Desert Oasis. Under the pier where I was swimming. I think I did that in one of the earlier videos. Now, here at, uh, here at really, over at the potato farm, there will be one. Real quick, not fall down. Still. There's also another one, kind of around the same. I, I'll, I'll probably grab that one going out here because there's also one of the killer elephants getting hideout. And I might have walked past that because it's a really weird, weird, weird place. It's actually in the shower room. If you're wondering if for the killer elephant, I don't feel like going to the shower really on. <laughs> we'll probably get that one coming out of uh, Seagull Beach here. Okay. So, as you see here, come jump down. To this little area. Here's the house that does the potato farming. Right behind this house here. Right behind, right there. Right there. If I get over there. That chest right there. You kind of see it has the fire in it. If 
down whatever this, this is. Okay, no, I think I to, you have to get it on foot. You can't park your trotmobile, you have to get it on foot. So, park your trotmobile over here. Just run to the side of the house. And just right here in this treasure chest will be a classic book. Now there's 10 of these scattered throughout. I'm not, probably not going to be able to get all of them on this one play through because I know some of them you have to be trading for, but I'll pick up the video and pass to the location for them. Alright, so the other one's in the Killer Elephant Gang. We got one at the Oasis, so they kind of follow the story. Got one in every area, kind of like one key part. Seagull Beach. This is where we first met, remember? Looks like the ship is still there. If you're wondering what those white things are, yes, those are sharks. Those are actual shark fins. So you can sell sharks. Yeah, you need a flatbed. You can you can kind of beat them up and put them on a flatbed. You can sell them. That sounds terrible, but that's how it goes. <laughs> Let's see if I have to throw what the heck. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, Be careful. I will come. Don't worry. Wow. Okay, so this. DSS Junica Berry, which is, as we learned earlier, I think in the last video, this is the ship that Vanilla was coming into with Mallow as they were coming from overseas. Mallow was an overseas student, we were one of his friends from the, the school. Okay, we'll just come check all these out. There's a couple treasure chests hiding in some of these that have some kind of background. Poster of the captain. I like that. Oh, simple. I, I believe another romance option in this game, if you so choose. I believe all the all the females that you encounter can be romance. This should be the captain. And we got the sailing license, which is exactly what we came in here for. So, this is actually a really key juncture in the game, because once we get back to New Haven with this sailing license and give it to Sibylette, we kind of get locked into the main story, and you'll see what I mean once we, once I get to that part. But, um, there's, so this is kind of the last point where you can kind of do exactly what you want for a little bit in the game, because things are going to rapidly pick up after this point. So I'll probably actually cover all that in the, the next video. Oh, and here's the trident arm. This is actually a really, really good piece to use. Uh, I think it's actually like one of these stronger PvP pieces. And that's pretty much everything in here back down here and meet up with Connie, but yeah, we got we came for that sailing license.
Okay, just in case you are wondering, I will take a quick little stop here. Just to go to the Killer Elephant Gang and show you where another classic literature book is. So I'll just go through this building right here, cut through there. There's a ladder in the back. Now they have a pretty neat operations here. They pretty much have a building built into a sort of cliff. Okay, so what we're looking for is the shower room. I don't know if this guy has anything for me. Just all the way in the very back of the bottom level here. Just took a little ladder back and went back there. Alright, let's get out of here. I'd like to get back to Neferberg, sleep, and then see what's going on at the uh, train station because I should be able to go from Neferberg to really anywhere. I should fuel up. I think I probably should fuel up here.
right, so I'm just gonna go to the in here. Wait till morning. Now that I have a tank, a literal tank. <laughs> okay. And sh I think the end's are right. Next to the The spider legs. Get him! I'm betting on you! Kick some ass! Isabel!
I won! S class, man. These guys are chumps. Give me my money. Uh, let me just pick on Chucky real quick. Oh, sweet. Got a theory. You can't find a ceiling here. Oh, they got Schneider here tonight. Come on, man. I want to fight Schneider. Let's go, dude. Oh, I can't wait to get back in those class. Get away from these bums that got me fighting, man. This guy's interesting. <laughs> he just squirts water at you. Oh, you never would have thought water would be so effective. Sure about my water float. My water resistant float would have torn him up. <laughs> Get him! I'm betting on you! Kick some ass! Rudy! Is that Rudy? Yeah! Rudy ain't got nothing on the Miller. Illa, Illa, A, A, A. Good night, the arena. I got my rank up and all that. Alright. I'll try this one real quick. I don't think I can stay at Connie's place.
Oh, there's, you could, um, if you go into that theater, I think it's that theater, the Nefferberg one, they will give you a side quest for finding a bunch of film or something like that. Actually, why am I even... There it is. I knew the end was somewhere around here. Okay, and that's the band we need to get to leave. This guy right Welcome. here, he's the one looking for Vladimir. pretty much effectively getting him to leave in pursuit of those dudes, so Vladimir is now going to be brought back, and that will open up the real estate in Nefferberg, if you want to go place in Nefferberg, not the stay at the end.
got made straight to the Ranch. It makes a lot easier to go visit the doctor. Is that it? All right, he'll go. He'll head back on his own. There's another guy, uh, Pablo, that will pop up around here, probably after he. This guy's already moved on. He's the artist from Neferberg, and he'll want to trip down here to Port Raven. I got a new hafe and I'll look at uh, their motors because I think they have a couple of parts I may be able to use.
Oh, I went the wrong way. I was thinking I was straight ahead. I should have just took a took a took a right. Gas yeah, is a desert hornet place. Yeah, there we go. Other way. Quarter turn in the other direction. All right, now we're back in Garland, finally. We go back to New Haven. All comes full circle. Got the sailing license, now to deliver to you. It's incredible. And here's a good stuff. Yo, Vanilla. You see Dudley around? I've been waiting here all day. Can't wait for that guy much longer. Why don't you enter the UTC? Sure, why not? Awesome. But do you even know what the tournament is? Yeah, the ultimate trouble is fighting championship. Uh -oh. It's a tournament to find the strongest trotmobile ever. Exactly. The winner is declared the strongest Trotmobile in the country. 
Eight writers are selected from all across the country. I'm one of them. The winner fights last year's champion, the White Phantom. And of course, whoever wins that is declared the Grand Champion. That's it. The rules are the same as any other Trotmobile battle. Is there a cash prize? You know it. We're talking about 10,000 UR. And second place is only 3,000 UR, so it's pretty much all or nothing. Get you signed up. I've given this thing twice now. I think it's oh yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. I was waiting for the, the UTC invitation. Good luck. I'll be cheering for you, okay? You too, okay. Fennel. Okay, looks like your first opponent is... Jimmy. Long time no see, Vanilla. It's me, Jimmy, from New Haven, remember? Who invited you here? <laughs> I see you entered the UTC, but I wouldn't have expected anything less. I gotta go tune up my rig now. Hope you can put up a fight. Never seen that guy before. Stay on your toes, okay? Uh, I might do the trident arm for this. I mean, they're both really good, honestly. Trident arms are real. Trident arms are really, really good piece. You can use either one of these for it. I'm just so used to the best arm because I used to use the sword a lot. You'll see what's going on. Well. Oh, yeah, white phantom uses the same sword the white phantom uses. Back to the caterpillar legs because that gives me a Jimmy, little more health and stuff. But I want to do that for Jimmy. I wasn't really expecting to go up against you so early on, but, uh... I've been waiting to see what you're made of. Hello, Vanilla. Have you heard anything about Mallow? Yeah, Mallow's... Mallow's in New Haven with a flower girl who has a parrot on her shoulder. Flower girl with a parrot? Got it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get to New Haven. Thanks for your help.
Fennel. I forget who round three is. Hope it's not Schneider. Get him! Fertilize him! I'm betting on you! Block on those missiles. Those missiles are some bullshit. That's for damn sure. Nice. You're pretty strong. Yeah, Schneider's Schneider. next. He's Neferberg's uh, champ. Phantom. He's not the champ for nothing. Don't
Can you hear the crowd? They're going wild. I never expected you to make it this far. They're up against Elder next. He's the winner from last year. This is your chance at the championship, so don't let me down. I can if I can get that, that'd be preferable. I'm trying to beat them down the slow way. Get them! Fertilize them! I'm betting on you. Stupid cannon! Stupid excalibur! Do you have I'm not gonna turn up on you? <laughs> you fool! You fool, Elder! I won! Look at that white phantom trash out of my fight. Running the whole fight. Who are you, F Floyd? Oh boy, you did it! Boy, You're the go. champion! This is some real champion shit. You got built. Give me my legit 10,000 er Elder Schmelder. Get that out of my sight. I'll take a rest Man, of that. that was a wake-up call. You took my spotlight. Right down there in the middle, please. I'll be the one next year. Just you wait. Why, hello there. Well, Vanilla, I presume. Now that I have the, uh... Oh, God. That battle was superb. Who knew the White Phantom character. could be defeated? I'd like you to consider joining our organization. You're just the type of person we need. You. Pardon me. I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Combrey, and I am a consultant for the Secret Society of the Bloody Mantis. Perhaps you've heard of us. Pretty much a terrorist organization. We serve a sublime higher purpose, and in order to accomplish that, we need men like you. I think highly of your skills and would be willing to induct you as private. If you're interested, please go to a store called Fashion Poser. The changing room there is actually the entrance to our secret hideout. 
I've marked the store's location on the map, in case you are interested. There are two changing rooms, though, so make sure you choose the right one. I must be going now, but I trust we will meet again. like the Trapmobile fights in this. And now since I have uh, the championship thing, I can challenge the S ranks and I think you challenge uh, like Schneider and some of those S rank champions that they have there, like the really high ups, you can get a lot of medals and get the rewards a little quicker. <laughs> Uh, so that UTC championship that just happened as well, remember I was talking about the newspapers earlier, if we go to that newspaper building, it's just, okay, let me get my bearings here, there's a, uh, okay, there's a fashion brawl, and that's where you're going to talk about the secret hideout is, this is the church. Okay, so they're talking about Bloody Mantis. This is a, this is a Bloody Mantis member. So they're kind of very much a terrorist organization. Alright, now, this old lady right here, I believe she has stops. Yeah, she, she wants to hear organ music. Can you come up here and just play the organ? Stonks.
Okay, let's talk to this lady again. I see she, I can't believe there's an organ player now. She's like, I thought I wouldn't be able to hear your organ, but you're a fucking man now. Okay, so she gave us her 10 Siberian West Coast. Awesome. for big transports. Oh, and never be. Okay, a lot of stock she gives us. I will definitely come back and play the Okay. Okay, so as I was saying kind of before this, come down here to the stock. Oh, we can tell about the championship that we just won. They'll write all about it. Okay, yes, okay, so that's what's, okay. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to report some stuff to that in a second. I thought the UTC was one of them, but there's also another event that's about to happen here. Like, oh, come back later. No. Welcome! Yeah, now, okay, so yeah, now. Now we can. You would have to void your contract. Could, okay, so this at this kind of juncture, I really didn't explain this that much. But so the guy that was talking to us, uh, Cromley or whatever his kind of name is, he's he's the higher up, pretty much the leader in this organization, and he wants us to join him in his evil deeds. Well, I just gave him a nice firm no right there. But you have the option to, if you want to. Join up with their organization, and that's what he was just kind of telling us there. To go down to the fashion rond, and that will be where their um, hideout is. I don't really have an interest in joining them now on this playthrough. I might later. I'm not gonna lie. My very first playthrough, I joined with them. My second playthrough, I did a kind of a good guy. So this one, I, this one kind of leaves up in the air for now. But you can join him throughout multiple parts of the story. This isn't this is the only time he's going to offer us to join their organization. So we'll definitely be seeing more of that guy around. Now we should be able to take the train to New Haven, but as that guy was just saying, that they got attacked in Quail Tunnel. So I don't know if they're going to let me go to New Haven. <laughs> That, that might be the one towards Happy Garland and...
Nefroberg, because I know there's a train that goes through there, but that might be what they have me do after this. At this point, this is where things you go found the sailing license. Right you kind of get locked into the story a little more. Thank you. We are in your debt. All that's left is saving up enough money to rebuild our ship. Uh, excuse me. Our girl with the parrot! I finally found you! How dare you bust in on us like this! My apologies. I'm Sir John, and I heard my son Mallow was here. Oh, I see. He's in there. Reunion, huh? Thank you, Captain. Mallow explained everything. I'd like to talk about what we're going to do now. You too, Vanilla. While searching for Mallow, I heard there's an organization out to kill him. Captain Sibylette, your shipwreck was no accident, I'm afraid. It can't be! Sorry, Captain. It's all my fault. No, it's not. You aren't the one who sunk the ship. He's right, Mallow. Don't blame yourself. No, Sibylette. I think it was a lesson my son had to learn. At any rate, they're still looking for him. It won't be safe here much longer. I don't want there to be any trouble, so I'm going to move Mallow somewhere safe. As you wish, but where? I own a school in Eurydica. It's closed down, so I'm sure nobody would ever think to look there. Which is where you come in, Vanilla. I'd like you to take Mallow to Eurydica. I know you're strong enough to handle it. You enter the UTC. Sure, I'll take him there. Thank you. Oh, and equip this on your truckmobile. Attach this emergency bed and let me know when you're ready. Okay. 
So we're gonna transport Mallow all the way to Eureka. I actually think this marks a good stopping point. But I'll pick up on this one and make 